क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीड़ा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the structure of hydrates of group 16 elements and now in this topic we are going to talk about physical and chemical properties of hydrates of group 16 elements so what are those let me talk about that in this topic Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the structure of hydrates of group 16 elements and now in this topic we are going to talk about the physical and chemical properties of hydrates of group 16 elements so what are those let me talk about that in this topic so friends talk about the physical and chemical properties of hydrates of group 16 elements we have first let me talk about physical properties of group 16 elements that is for hydrates suppose if i am talking about that is h2 and suppose if i am comparing it with other hydrates like h2s that is h2te or h2se in that case we'll get to know that is this h2 is the only hydride among all those which is present in a liquid state it is in fact colorless also and obviously not harmful but if you talk about the other gases like h2s gas or suppose if you talk about that is h2te so this all are the gaseous molecules and they can be hazardous also or they can be poisonous also so that's the reason that water being a hydride of oxygen is comparatively very much different compared to that of the other hydrides of group 16 elements so that is nothing but the physical property and now let me talk about the other information related to this also that is suppose if we talk about water then obviously we'll get to know that is the boiling point of water is nothing but 373 kelvin but suppose if we talk about that is hydride of sulfur then it has been found to be less than compared to that of 373 kelvin but if you are talking about the other hydrides after the sulfur that is suppose if i'm comparing it with h2 if i'm comparing it with h2s then it comes that is h2se then h2te and then h2po so this case we'll get to know that is the h2o is the one which will have a higher boiling point compared to that of h2s so therefore this will have a higher boiling point and okay about the next one that is h2s h2s will have lesser boiling point compared to that of h2 but h2s will have that is higher boiling point compared to that of h2s e so that's the reason i will write it over here as in this way and that's it so this was related to the physical properties of the hydrates of group 16 elements and now let me talk about the chemical properties of hydrates of group 16 elements so friends now we are going to talk about the chemical properties of the hydrates of the group 16 elements so starting with the first one that is thermal stability if we get to know that is the water molecule is very much stable that is it is very much thermally stable and that's the reason that is the boiling point of water is basically 373 kelvin while the rest of the other hydrides are the one which have the boiling point lesser than 373 kelvin it proves us that that is water is a more thermally stable molecule compared to that of the other one so for that we have the other information also that is since the oxygen atom whenever it is bonded with two hydrogen atoms obviously this oxygen atom is very much electronegative and that's the reason that this oxygen atom can form hydrogen bonding with other water molecules and that's the reason that water molecule is basically liquid form and suppose if we compare it with sulfur so sulfur does not form that much of hydrogen bonding compared to that of the water molecule and that's the reason that it is very much thermally unstable and that's how basically we can find that is even though at high temperature we can find that is h2 but after 373 kelvin it will turn into gaseous form but still that is the other hydrides are very much less stable thermally less stable compared to that of that is water molecule so for that here i have few data related to the bond enthalpy and in this case basically we'll get to know that is what is the amount of energy that is been required to break the bond between the central atom and the hydrogen so for that we have a particular data over here that is for h2 the energy required to break the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen here it is been found to be that is 463 kJ per mole but suppose if we compare it with that is h2s it is been found to be that is 347 kJ per mole and suppose if we compare it with h2se it is been found to be 276 kJ per mole and for h2te it is been found to be 238 kJ per mole so this clearly indicates that water is very much thermally stable compared to that of the rest of the world so this was related to the thermal stability and now let me talk about it next one 
So now let me talk about the next property that is acidic character. So we have got to know that is the bond between the central atom and the hydrogen atom is basically very much polar and that's the reason suppose if I compare it with that is the bond between the hydride that is in this case the M is nothing but this are the group 16 elements and in that case we'll get to know that is because of this bond is very much polar and we understand that is the central atom is very much electronegative obviously whenever it will get dissociated it will form that is mh minus along with that of h plus so now this h plus ion whenever it has been excited by water that is h2 it will form that is hydronium ion that is basically h3o plus so in this case we see the hydrides have a characteristic to give out h plus ion and that makes it basically acidic in nature but they are not very much strong acid they are in fact weak acid and suppose if we are talking about water so water is the most weakest acid if we compare it with the other one for example let me talk about the other reactions also related to the hydrates of group 16 elements suppose if we make that is h2s to react with h2 then in this case basically the product that is what we could get because of obviously this hydrogen it will be that is it will be moved towards this H2O so as that we could form that is H3O plus along with that of the product that has been maintained here it is HS minus but now again this HS minus again it will be reacted with water molecule so as to produce that is another mole of that is H3O plus beginning to have that is sulfur to acquire negative charge on it so therefore this makes us to understand that is this hydrates has the capacity to lose two hydrogens also so therefore this was a reaction related to that is h2s with h2 so now this makes us to understand that is this has an acidic character and that's the reason whenever an acid is reacted with a base obviously it will form salt and water so for that we have an example suppose if we talk about the example that is suppose if h2s is reacted with a base like NaOH so in this case the product that is what we could get we could get water as a product that is a byproduct and the product that is what we could get it is basically NaHs and when this sodium hydrosulfide whenever it is basically reacted with another molecule of H2 or suppose if it is reacted with another molecule of NaOH then there will be removal of this hydrogen atom so as it will combine with OH so as to form H2 and the rest of the thing is that is Na2S. So this is the thing that has been formed. So that's why this was the related reaction which proved that the hydrates of the group 16 elements are basically acidic in nature. Polonium will be the one which will have that is a bigger atomic size and that's the reason that the polar nature obviously it will be also more and that's the reason that the hydrogen to remove the hydrogen it will be very much easy and that's the reason that is H2 is less acidic compared to that of H2S and this is what I am writing the order where we will get to know that is the hydrates of tellurium is more acidic compared to that of H2 and this was nothing but this was the acidic character and now let me talk about the next one and the next one is reducing character reducing character is nothing but the ability to give out the H plus ion and, or give out the hydrogen atom so this is nothing but reducing character but suppose if we talk about H2 so we have got to know that is H2 is very much thermally stable so that's the reason that to remove the hydrogen atom or in the form of H plus ion also it is very much difficult so that's the reason that water molecule is not a good reducing agent and that's the reason that we are going to compare it with the rest of the hydrates that is H2S and that is H2PO so suppose if we consider the hydrate of polonium that is H2PO so in that case we'll get to know that is the atomic size of the polonium is very much bigger and that's the reason that it can easily donate H plus ion which makes that is hydride of polonium to be more that is acting like a reducing agent compared to that of H2S so that's the reason we could compare it that is if we compare H2S if we compare that is H2SE if we compare H2TE and suppose if we compare H2PO so in this case we'll get to know that is this is the hydride which is very much that is acting like a reducing agent or which is very much good reducing agent and this is the order that is what we could get and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got to know about the physical properties as well as the chemical properties of group 16 elements and that's it i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much